What's going on, Pop Principal here with another Funko Pop Review, and today we have uh, Venomized Miles Morales from the Maximum uh, Venom animated show, which uh, I actually did get a chance to watch and, and didn't realize as I was watching the whole entire uh, more recent animated Spider-Man show that this is where it kind of led into Venom had a huge role uh, in this particular show, especially once they got to the Maximum Venom uh, part of it. It was like a, a mini series, I guess you can call it. It, it, it. They had, the intro was different. It was pretty much all the show was about at one point. Uh, and I believe the final season, um, I really did love this particular uh, Spider-Man animated show. This was my, I've seen most of the animated shows not from start to finish because at some point if i'm not, if i don't like it i'll just jump off the ship and uh just let it be what it's going to be but this one kind of had me given that it had a lot of uh history behind um some of the newer spider-man iterations from the comic books and the old as well it had a lot of miles morales in it it had a lot of the uh spider uh, men and women in this in this particular show and it showed off their powers and their origins it had black cat it had everybody that you would come to love and expect from a spider-man show was all displayed it was a fairly long lengthy uh um, run with this particular show i want to say it had over five seasons maybe right at five seasons but it was and it had a gang of episodes each season so i really appreciated it and it gave a lot of history around uh, uh, about venom and once you got to the end, it was like, wow, OK, I see how they kind of came to this um, uh, 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 end game, if you will. Um, so this is a very dope looking pop. I definitely uh, uh, like this particular version of Miles Morales, just being that I haven't seen um, a Venomized Miles prior to seeing this. And there is a new Venomized Miles, uh, Miles coming out that. Is just now hitting stores. I believe it is an entertainment exclusive um, Funko. So if you guys have any interest, go order that. And I think it's actually coming out as we see it now. But I think that version is more closely related to the comic book version and not from this particular show. So let's get right into an out of box look at uh, Maximum Venom uh, Miles. And here you have the Max or uh, uh, Venomized Mi uh, Miles Morales, I should say. And on the left of his face, you see all the little symbiote-like designs and textures on his actually head, actual head mold, and uh, his body. Um, the uh, spider symbol on his back is pretty huge, as you would come to expect on any particular Venom or Venomized. Um, uh, Spider-Man at this point and the front as well huge um, you know the original Venom his spider logo goes from front to back is connecting so it's very long not quite that long but in a, it's in the ballpark um, and it has that traditional red and black miles uh, colorway now this I, I want to say they, they used that same head mold from the like gamer verse miles and, and just added on to it you see the symbiote goo uh actually popping up on parts of his head as well and on the actual abdomen legs and body um which is a very nice touch i i, I love to see that uh symbiote look and feel anytime you have a, a spider-man a spider-woman now um I did not get all of the Venomous um, uh, p s characters from this particular uh, show, but I did get a couple. Well, I basically just got him and Peter because those are my favorite. Um, I didn't feel like I needed to get any of the other ones. I didn't feel compelled to get any of the other ones, but I'm glad they are introducing the comic book version of uh, Venom Miles Morales, which looks totally different, but kind of similar. Um, to this one so i will be definitely looking forward to grabbing that one and, and, and doing a comparison shot of those two as well um yeah and you can find this for a actual decent price i believe i know i didn't spend too much on this particular pop so if you are interested in it you can actually find it for a fairly decent price if you're into that type of thing so let's get right into a comparison shot of uh venomized miles 
And here we have a comparison shot of the Venomobs, Miles Morales, and Peter Parker from the mo most recent animated uh, Spider-Man animated show. And as you guys can see, they are ha half covered and are not fully covered, but uh, partially covered in the Venom symbiote, and, and it's kind of going to the rest of their body. The if you watch the show, you can get a good feel of. Uh, how this venom changed everybody. I, I want to say Peter was the only one who uh, took on a symbiote suit and didn't really turn bad. or wasn't really overcome completely by the uh, venomized suit. It was actually a weapon for him in this particular show and helped him out a lot. Um, and you see, he has like the white and the, the alt, the opposite of the uh, traditional colorway of venom instead of it being primarily black it's primarily white which i thought was a dope touch and, and just to get, make it stand out and, and more memorable to the particular show so whenever you see that colorway it is uh actually a uh um it's very recognizable i should say it's, and it, and there is versions of anti-venom with the uh colors flipped which i do have some anti-venom pops um which i will uh, review at some point um i just wanted to kind of build up the channel before i actually got to those because those are pretty rare they're pretty uh high or high priced uh funkos some of the higher higher priced uh spider-man line funkos if you will so um i really like the white and the the primarily white and black venomized suit on peter as well so with that being said like subscribe tune in i appreciate you guys from watching uh pop principal help